let's just get it out the way. Well, we got Christmas with the Cranks here on Bootleg DVD. Isn't that marvelous, folks? A movie I've actually never seen, but you people on Litterbox keep telling me that this is a 5 out of 5 movie. I'm just going to take your word for it ladies and gentlemen but you can't go wrong with another christmas film starring tim allen i guarantee you in different countries they probably call this the santa claus 3 which would mean that the actual santa claus 3 would be santa claus 4 over there but i don't know you know you know how they do that i mean like like uh that movie uh robot jocks there's like a sequel uh over there called crash and burn but it's not actually crash and burn oh, never mind i'm just going off the rails and we also got Jamie Lee Curtis in this film, recent Oscar nominee Jamie Lee Curtis, and I actually can't believe she's never been nominated for an Oscar prior to uh, prior to this year. If you ask me, I think Freaky Friday was definitely an Oscar-worthy performance, and no, that's not me being sarcastic. But uh, this also could be qualified as sarcasm. This movie reeks, yes, from Jamie Bernard of the New York Daily News. So obviously they really are enticing you to watch Christmas with the Cranks with such a such a great critical blurb right there this movie reeks you know and this is a great bootleg because it actually opens in look at that look at this it's, it's actual flipperama like in those Captain Underpants books I used to read but also a little tree here look at that tree that that tree right there is so low but then you open it up and the tree's bigger now so yeah like flipperama I don't know if it looks as good when you're looking at it here and then we go over here Look at that. Uh, Dollabo Digital. They didn't even spell Dollaby with a Y in it. And look at that. They forgot the D had surround sound. You know? Isn't that great? Isn't that just absolutely extraordinary? And uh, obviously we get another great critical blurb here. A flat parable from the Los Angeles Times. Just totally great. Just totally great uh, critical blurb right there. And we also get these great credits here. You know. And I love this. Finglish. Yeah, Finglish. You know. Isn't that great? Finglish. <laughs> and in and, and Spanish. <laughs> What is this like? But Spanish, but Spanish. There we go. Spanish. That that's what that is. You know what I mean? We got the Columbia TriStar Home Entertainment logo right there, and we also have anamorphically enchanced one by eighty-five DVD. You know they wrote this thing down there, and also a website address. And yes, you pull the slip cover off because this is a bootleg DVD with the slip cover, obviously, which is a really cool thing to see in these bootleg DVDs. Or maybe somebody actually put the slip cover on. I don't know. But yeah. And there is the disc to Christmas with the Cranks. Now, here's the thing, folks. Uh, as amazing as this whole thing is, you guys are only expecting just an amazing menu like I was when I bought this bootleg DVD. But... Unfortunately, expect disappointment and you'll never actually be disappointed because, put this in, so I put the disc in, and we're expecting amazingness, but we don't get amazingness. We just get a direct rip of the actual DVD itself, considering that I don't have this movie in my collection i guess i could consider consider this kind of a plus and it just goes actually actually to the movie right there but yeah it's the same thing as the regular dvd even the menus are all the same unfortunately i was hoping for something just a little bit more just a little bit more you know crazier you know what i mean i wanted something just a little bit more crazier but you know you just don't get that with this bootleg Kind of disappointing, but at least I have it in such of a very interesting, peculiar case. Isn't that marvelous? All right. 
let's look at this bootleg of the Lord of the Rings, Return of the King. Which, speaking of the Oscars, this was the best film of 23. Or, sorry, not 23, 2003. See, I obviously cannot talk right now. That's just great, ladies and gentlemen. But it's Lord of the Rings. How can you absolutely go wrong with Lord of the Rings? And I'm glad I have a Lord of the Rings bootleg because... um. It always makes me wonder how they actually fit this whole entire movie on one disc. You know what I mean? And then we have these credits down here, which is for... these. This bottom down here is actually for the movie Gothica, which had um, uh, Holly Berry in it. And actually, they took the rating, the R rating out. And uh, this movie is just sort of restricted for violence, brief language, and some nudity, of course. And we got the disc, which just says Lord of the Rings right there. Isn't that marvelous? But let's put her in there, because like I said, I mean, Lord of the Rings Return of the King is an infamously long film. It's like three hours and 20 minutes. So how do you fit a three hour and 20 minute movie on the one whole disc? You know, well, actually they did that for like when it initially came out, but they had the quality to do that. Well, you know, you get the New Line Cinema logo right there. Let me see if I can just get you guys some good audio for this uh, bootleg. Have you heard nothing of the stubbornness of force? Might as well accept it. We're going with you, honey. Well, congratulations, folks. I have Lord of the Rings on a video now color you know that's what the audio sounds like it sounds like lord of the rings on a video now color now the real depressing thing about this folks is um you might look at it from this video and be like oh the quality doesn't look that bad trevin come on stop stop riffing on quality that isn't that bad yeah this part's an hour 10 that part's an hour and two and then the last part's about 50 minutes so that's how they uh, split up the whole uh movie i have to go through this to see if they actually did cut out uh some stuff there's no menu on this disc sadly so you know i can't even see if there's a menu or not but uh yeah there's lord of the rings on bootleg dvd but what i was gonna say was uh oh, great my player just froze oh that's wonderful my player just froze but what i was gonna say was the quality on the disc like if you look at it from this video that i'm shooting it might not look that bad but that's only because you're not actually looking at it from the um from the dvd you're looking at it from a uh you're looking at it from this uh video camera that i'm shooting all right so it's time to look at two bootlegs two of terminator 3 yes because obviously this must have just been a hot commodity to bootleg back in 2003 unless if this is one of those movies that was like leaked out or something like that um but first we got this case which has like some dirt or some kind of crap on it which is kind of grossing me out and we also have this case here now obviously the real big difference is, is that uh you know this poster's got a lot more of the blue color on it this poster is just sort of a grayish color which is kind of interesting to really look at it although this poster right here is missing the date which i think might have been intentional i'm not sure or not there's the spines right there which almost look which almost are kind of similar but not really they both have like i mean they're similar in that way like you know they have a picture here then the title there of course we have very different um descriptions which is actually quite interesting It's all a matter about the disc art, which we got plain white disc there, and we actually have some disc art on this one. Yes, now this disc does have the THX logo right there and a very poorly put in Warner Brothers logo right there. They obviously didn't spend a lot of time putting in the effort for this DVD art, but you could almost give them a, uh, you know, it's the thought that counts, I guess. That's the term I'm looking for. So we're going to put this disc in first and see what this disc uh, gives us.
And then there's the menu for Terminator 3. I'm actually just going to hit play movie here. Oh, wow. Look at this really disturbing as hell CGI. Wow, look at that. Oh, my gosh. Wow, look at that. I'm actually going to turn this down because this is an actual real copywritten song. Let's not get YouTube on my butt. Well, look at this. Look at this. I mean, this CGI is just, like, unnerving. You know what I mean? Like, this is what nightmares are made of. This is, like, like what real nightmares are made of right here. You know? I know this is supposed to be kind of cool, but just if I saw this as a kid, I think I would be... I would be very weirded out by this on this bootleg. Oh, that's, um... Uh, Synthro... Yeah, Synthropy. All right, is that how you pronounce it? Synthropy? I've actually... There's a video about him, um, online. Uh, if you look at that Madagascar bootleg video, <clears throat> they go into depth on this, uh, company a little bit. It's a very interesting video. Uh, maybe I'll put the link on YouTube. I mean, look at that face. Like, that is disturbing. I mean, like I said, like, like, you just... You put this bootleg in casually, and you just get this, like, this really kind of creepy face. You know what I mean? It's just... I don't know. It's uncomfortable. And look at that. Pure quality movie... What does that say? It moves so fast you can barely read it. Pure quality movie releasing. Yeah, pure quality. Because they can't tell you that the quality actually sucks on this bootleg. You know, God forbid they tell you that. Oh, we got some trailers here. Isn't that wonderful? What we got a trailer of? Oh, just like always, the trailers always glitch. Isn't that, isn't that marvelous? Glitchy trailers. You know, one of these days I'm going to have a bootleg where the trailers don't glitch out so badly. But uh, yeah, we got Terminator 3 on bootleg DVD. Looking at it from here, from the TV, it doesn't look nearly as awful. But what do you expect? It's a bootleg. What does the sound sound like? Satellites to missile silos under the control of a single computer system. The most intelligent system ever conceived. I still prefer to keep humans in the loop. Okay, so the quality is okay. You know, okay-ish bootleg. A real okay-ish bootleg, actually, for the time. Tell you the truth. Let's see here. Let's go to the chapter menu. I want to see what that looks like. Oh, we get that. That's the picture. I'm just kind of surprised at the picture. Chapter menu doesn't look terrible, but this is obviously an image from the... Obviously, like I always say, if you go to a movie wallpaper, wallpaper website, you could find all these like images on there. You know what I mean? And for bonus features, if they have any... <coughs> oh, we got trailers for Jeepers Creepers 2 and SWAT. Ugh. So the trailer for Jeepers Creepers 2 works. Too bad that the director is an actual freaking creep. So we're not going to look too much at that trailer. And we also got a trailer for SWAT. Which, uh... So none of these trailers look like they're from the beginning. Because the, um... The opening, like, this film or this preview thing is different than what we saw. So I'm just going to go on a limb and say, like, um... Whatever trailer that was before this bootleg was probably the trailer for Pirates of the Caribbean. But I could be very much wrong. Very much wrong on that one. That's just a guesstimate. Yeah. So there's that bootleg of Terminator 3. Let's look at the other one, shall we? The other one's probably got to give us some real fool surprises. All right. Oh, look. More images from the movie wallpaper website. And that music actually is in the movie. That's actually from the music score of Terminator 3. And I just clicked on this. Um, now I wonder if they sourced it from the actual, from the same, uh, from the same bootleg. Actually, this one looks like it's a little bit more better quality from the, the, um, from the last bootleg I looked at. Let me see if just, uh, the audio quality is a little different. Let me see if I can get to that place. Well, once the connection's made, it should only be a matter of minutes. During which we put everything from satellites to missile silos under the control of a single computer system. The most intelligent system ever conceived. I still prefer to keep humans in the loop. I'm having this sense of deja vu with this bootleg. It seems like the video quality almost is just about on par, if not a little better than what the last bootleg was. Um... But not by a whole big stretch. Let me see if there's anything else on the menu. Because um, I know there's all this. Let's see. Maybe this bootleg has like those trailers or whatever. You know, like some trailers. I would not be surprised in the slightest if it uh, 
if it did. And it doesn't look like it does. It does not look like it does. See that play button it doesn't take us anywhere. I thought that might have took us somewhere different. But regardless, it is a very exciting sight to see not one but two bootlegs of the same exact movie. Um, just one's got different menus and one's got a different intro. I don't know which one I like better. You know, both of them are, are bootlegs, but what do you expect? What do you expect? All right, so the next bootleg is Crank 2 High Voltage, starring Jason Statham. And I will go on record to say that this is one of the best sequels ever made. Uh, this movie is actually <laughs> amazingly insane, and I loved every single minute of it. It is one of the most wildest films I've ever seen, but it's, it's definitely a lot of fun. Um, and we have the spine here, which just says Crank. Or no, it says high voltage on here. It's almost like you need a magnifying glass to read that. All right, let's see what the disc looks like. This doesn't really show anything. It's just a gray disc. A different design of disc, you know? We always get that plain white disc, but this one comes to us from... Uh, Pengo, not to be confused with Pingo, the um, show that used to come on back in the day, the stop motion show or whatever it was. All right, I'm putting the disc in. My DVD player just sounds very angry, the way that it closed that disc, I mean the, the tray. All right, and there's the menu right there. See if there's any sound. So now sound on the menu which is very unfortunate. But we do got trailers here, which is marvelous. Always got to like trailers. And we got a trailer for, uh, oh, for Astro Boy. Yeah, great trailer to put this kid movie trailer on. If you've seen Crank 2, uh, this is not a kid's movie. This movie has uh, got a lot of cussing in it. But hey, let's see. And then this is weird. I'm seeing... Let me go back here. So we see this here, right? The MPAA screen. You know, the PG-13 MPAA screen. So that's obviously for like some different movie right there. And then it looks like we just go straight into the movie. Because this is obviously like bootleg footage right here. Yeah, like straight up bootleg footage. So this is obviously the beginning of the movie. That was weird. That was really weird. But anyways, uh, let's see what the sound quality has to entitle us for this bootleg. So the audio quality is okay for what it is. Um, I actually can't show you guys a lot of this movie because if you've seen, like I said, if you've seen this movie, it's, uh, it's actually very graphic. Um, unfortunately, I just cannot show you a lot of that bootleg. I would love to, but, you know, YouTube's regulations are just like, you can't show this and you can't show that, which is a darn shame. I can't show you the excitement that is Crank 2 High Voltage, which is a darn shame. But I could show you My Boss's Daughter, a movie I have never seen, ever. But it stars Tara Reid and Ashton Kutcher, and, uh, and Terrence Stamp's in this? Oh my god, how'd they get Terrence Stamp in this movie? I don't know. I might actually have to watch it now. Uh, because I just, I saw that movie, The Limey, he was in, and he's actually amazing in that movie. And this also says it's got DTS, Digital Surround, on it. Which, uh, I won't believe it till I see it. And we have the Dimension logo down here, the Bootleg Dimension logo. What is that? Dimension like home entertainment? I can't really even read that at the bottom. Um, but we also have Region 1, DVD 9, dual layers on it. Because DVDs have layers like ogres. Yeah, like, like, or no, no, they did spell house it kind of right, I guess. I don't know if house it's one word or not. Eh, never mind. All 
right. And there's the disc skirt right here. So what do you guys think? Do you guys think that this is just, oh, look at that, the Columbia, home, uh, Columbia TriStar logo right here. So look at this. We got Columbia TriStar here, Universal Pictures here, and Dimension down here. Which company is it? I don't know. I do not know at all. At all. But yeah, but I mean, regardless, what do you guys think? Is this going to be a direct rip of the DVD or is this going to give us a really exciting, crazy, balls to the walls DVD? Because I haven't looked through this one yet, so I'm just improving. like, well, I mean, I improv all my videos, but I haven't looked through this one yet, so I don't know what this one entitles. I'm very interested to see what it entitles. For all I know, I could be getting a blank disc. And just from the looks of it, it looks like this one's also a direct rip of the DVD. But we do get the Dimension Home Video logo, so that means this is a Dimension release. I have never guessed. Can't even skip this stuff right here. I'll just let it play out and see what happens. Yep, and there's the menu right there. I wonder if the special features work, because sometimes these bootleg DVDs, as we all know, special features don't work. And we do get some special features here. They kind of do work, I guess. I don't care. Yeah. Direct rip of the DVD. Nothing much exciting, unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen. Like Christmas with the Cranks, I have the ability to watch a movie that I did not give a crap about two days ago. Or ever. Now I have the ability to watch it on this uh, bootleg. Isn't that marvelous? I mean, I guess now I have to actually sit down and watch it, but, you know. All right, I saved the best for last, folks. And that'll be this bootleg of two brothers. Now, why did I save this for last? Well, considering that there's not much here or here, you know, or even on the back side, there really isn't a lot. Really isn't a lot of grammatical errors or nothing like that. And it's just got a plain white disc here. So why did I save this for last? Well, let's go ahead and put her in, shall we? Well, no, it's not because of the Garfield DVD bootleg menu, and this bootleg comes to us from July 6, 2004 at 1228 in the morning. It's not even just because that this has that menu on it. No, 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 no. So it's got the movie on it, you know, and the quality is not that bad. It's cute, isn't it? But uh, yeah, the audio quality is not even that bad. So you guys are wondering, why is this the last bootleg? It's just a regular bootleg. Well, obviously there's 47 chapters. Why are there 47 chapters, ladies and gentlemen? And why is there about four hours left on this bootleg for this 90-minute movie? Well, let me show you, folks. Let me show you, folks, what these people did. Okay, so we're at the end of the movie here, at the end of the bootleg. And there is a menu here. Isn't that marvelous? Another menu. Now, I can't do anything on this menu right here. Because this all is still a part of the movie itself. This has no interactivity at all. At all. So we'll never discover what that chapter menu looks like. We'd only have to use our imagination, folks, just to get an idea of what that chapter menu looks like. We just have to get, you know... You just have to use our imagination. But uh, let's keep fast forwarding, shall we? Here we go. We get the DVD menu screensaver, or not menu, but like DVD screensaver here. And that starts about an hour and 40 minutes into this bootleg. And this goes on for about, an, uh, for two hours and 20 minutes of this, folks. Yeah. Two hours and 20 minutes of this. It, it is quite remarkable. So that means what I assume is like somebody actually like had this bootleg and fell asleep or they forgot to hit stop when they were recording it. 
So you just get the DVD screensaver going off like this. Isn't that amazing? That is just absolutely amazing. Like I said, two hours and 20 minutes of this. It, it is absolutely remarkable. I couldn't ask for a better bootleg, to tell you the truth. Because now, you and your friends could play like a wholesome game of just seeing if that thing actually hits the corner. There's something really just comforting about this whole thing. I, I, I gotta tell you, it's very mes mesmerizing when you look at this. But again, it goes on for about two hours and 20 minutes. I don't make this stuff up, folks. This ain't like fake. Uh, you know, I, I didn't make this bootleg, by the way. I don't know who did. Sometimes the people actually put their names on this stuff. Um, I can tell you one thing about this bootleg. When I got this bootleg from the Salvation Army, I lost my wallet that day. And it was a really shitty day for me. Oh, great. I cussed in the video. Isn't that a darn shame?